We're joined by none other than Travis the Beast Bajan, and he's got he's not just here to, you know, mess around with us. He's got a legit reason to be here, right, Travis? I do. First of all, thanks for having me. Um, so it's that time of year. Last year we celebrated the Harlan Hill um, ceremony there at the what was that the uh, the train station? Yeah, the Roundhouse, right? The, the Roundhouse, roundhouse exactly. It, I believe, yeah. And then this year is the voice is is the sound weird or is it good? No, you're good. I was it's just trying me. to get, no, no. I was trying to get Nick to do this. No, it we're not working. Space. Anyway, all right. Yeah. All right. No, you're my bad to, on that. Uh, but. So we were lucky last year because we had the Harlan Hill to celebrate. We had a big event called Pulling for the Rams, and uh, we raised about $55,000 to give to the Gridiron Club last year. And immediately, as soon as it was over, the Gridiron people are like, we're going to do it again. So, But we were looking for an occasion. I figured we'd win the national championship. Tice would win the Harlan Hill Award again, and then we would have this big, huge ceremony. That didn't exactly work out, but we have something even bigger, which is the NFL draft. We have Brian Walker, um, Ronnie Brown, of course, Big Joey Fisher and Tyson Bajan, and they're all going to be at the Mountaineer next Wednesday night, and WRNR will be there, and we're going to do that same telethon that Martinsburg High School did. We're going to do for Shepherd University, and hopefully... We'll raise at least fifty-five thousand dollars. So we've got a bunch of packages. If you go to um, pullingfortherams.com, you can you can look up. There's trading cards of Tyson Bajan's senior card. There are photos and posters. So there's a hundred dollar package all the way up to a huge five thousand dollar package. So if you're listening, pullingfortherams.com. Everything will be customized. The signatures are all there. We got some great posters of Coach Cater and his Hall of Fame induction. And so if you're a Rams fan or just an Eastern Panhandle fan or just a Tyson Bajan Joey Fisher fan, this is your probably last chance to get some Shepherd gear autographed. And to now also in our uh, <coughs> Facebook comments for those that are trying to find the website, and I'll also be posting it right now as we speak on to uh, – our Facebook page in general so that people can go directly there if they forget to go to the Facebook comments. But uh, it looks like you got a lot of stuff here to show off of some of the things that will be there uh, Wednesday, Travis. Yeah, there's no doubt. And it's such a great thing. Shepherd University, I mean, having those four offensive players all in yeah. one year coming out is absolutely extraordinary. So we have... Those four players, along with Coach Cater, and the best thing about that is they no longer play for the school anymore. So they personally, as grown-ups, can use their name, image, and likeness, and and we can and they can kind of give back. So I think the biggest deal for for those four guys, and especially Coach Cater, and you know I hear all the time the community telling me how amazing what Tyson did for Shepard. But when I, you know, the way we feel in our family is how amazing Shepard was to Tyson. So this is just a, an amazing way for us to give back. Um, I have a special skill set on the microphone. I have that arm wrestling table. And um, thanks to a few people, now we have some really expensive memorabilia. If you're a Shepherd fan and you want to get some of that, have a good time. Kind of see Joey and Tyson, I think, will be the main attractions there on Wednesday night. So it'll be pretty cool if you're a if you're a local kid and you want to, you know, see how it's done, then come on to the Mountaineer from six to nine, I think is what we're scheduled. Do you know that? You probably no haven't idea. been told That's yet. Why I wanted yeah, we you don't know. Yet. We wouldn't nice. have been last week. Oh, well, We're going gonna, with what you tell us. It's yeah. going to be amazing. So we'll have you guys out there. So if you're in the community and you want to see those guys or you can't make it on Wednesday for whatever day, just know that you can go to Pulling for the Rams and um, and get some of that gear. So on Pulling for the Rams, there's a few package <coughs> descriptions. The one $500, you'll get a poster signed by Tyson. And then $1,000, you will get a few things. Uh, and then you can go up to 5000 for the VIP and then the white is a hundred I missed that on there but uh, five thousand dollars you can get the uh, Tyson Bajan jersey is it autographed yeah no doubt you can so you did a really bad job at explaining I those did. packets so let well, me on, the, on, the, on your phone on your phone the website looks great but like 
it confused me the way that it was done on this computer. That's a little what it was. shaky. I got you. I'll work it with our web designer to fix that right away. But the truth is, is we got packets for everybody. First of all, during the telethon next Wednesday, if you've got two dollars and you want to send it to the Shepherd program, we will accept the two dollars. If you got a hundred dollar bill, you can grab one of these Senior Bowl Tyson Bajan Panini cards, autographed. Which is a sweet minimal investment if you if you love Shepherd football, um, the five hundred dollar package actually you can get two your choice either two pictures, two posters, one picture, one poster. Every time you move up a packet, you always get the packets below. So with packet two, you would get either your choice of a picture or a poster, and the Tyson Bayzian Panini card. If you have a thousand dollars, which is we sold a thousand dollar tables last year at the roundhouse that's where we were able to make up the chunk of our um of our you know fundraising profits for a thousand dollars this year you'll get a shepherd football helmet signed by whichever of the stars that you like whether it's coach cater tyson um joey fisher ronnie brown brian walker all those guys um you can get them all to sign it it's up to you to now totally i see the custom. website as it's supposed to be seen nice that's i think pretty i might have right? gone to like a back side of the website for some reason but now it looks great well i appreciate that and i'll let my guy know that he killed it um and then we have last year we had four five thousand dollar donors um and they all received the regional championship ring from the final four last year and it seemed to be a big hit for them whether they kept it for themselves or gave it to someone special to them so that's in the five thousand dollar package along with a tyson and or joey fisher signed jersey then you of course you still get the helmet you get the two posters and the panini card so there's something for everyone we'll have the arm wrestling table there you can, any human being off the street in the Eastern Panhandle can have a free VIP $5,000 package if they can beat the beast next Wednesday night. <laughs> you just got to do it live on TV 10 here. And, um, and we'll give you that Do they have to pay the $5,000? No, they do not have to pay. Oh. All they have to do is at least adhere to the $500 package, right? Or... They can just look at me sideways, and I'll let them in for free. <laughs> so let's just say, if you want some smoke, come on over to the Mountaineer Pub next Wednesday. Wednesday, it's the day before the beginning of the NFL draft. So it'll be, I think, probably your last chance to, um, to really see those guys before they're off at whatever teams they're selected from. Yeah, and uh, while we're here, we've kind of hit on this, I think, enough. Uh, I, actually, I, won't okay. I, won't I was just going to say, uh, just so people know, I guess, or just in general, you know, what does that money go toward for Shepherd football? I mean, That's we know question. it gets to the program, but what does the program use it for? Yeah, I believe that the pro every dollar will go to the TB2 scholarship fund, which is the most direct way for Ernie McCook and Shepherd football to have access to the funds. So this last year, we, we sent the money over to the Gridiron Club, and um, this year, the Gridiron Club and Coach McCook all agreed that the full sum will go to the TB2 scholarship, which um, is a great way. You know, there's a, there's a lot of ways to spend your money in Shepherdstown, West Virginia, at Shepherd University, whether you want to specify to a sport or you just want to go overall to the SUAC. So if you're a Shepherd football guy, this pulling for the Rams fundraiser is specifically for Shepherd football. And it's something that we've always said is what Shepherd needs to get to that next level when it comes to winning a national championship is that scholarship money and being able to compete with the bigger schools on that aspect to be able to compete with them on the field. So this is a very big event and hopefully they can get over that $55,000 for the TB2 scholarship because if you want guys there, even though we had great players and four guys that are in the NFL draft right now this year, to get to that next level and to finally see a national championship at Shepard, it most likely starts with this. No doubt. And I believe that we all understand how tremendously lucky we are at the capacity of Shepard football. But we also, the more bigger fans we are and the more into Shepard football we are, we understand the monumental task once you get on that airplane for that Final Four. So 
in hopes of winning that Final Four game, what we can definitely do is solidify our spot in that SR1 and make sure that year in and year out, you know, all we had to do was win that IUP game early in the year or late in the season, early, you know, the PS the PSAC playoff game, East versus West. If we win that game, we we got a very good opportunity to host that game in Shepherdstown, that Final Four game, going in there undefeated. So with we're so close. I mean, Ram fans, we are so close. Um, and just, you know, if we all come together, I think that, um, you know, we're three or four extra stud players away from running that house, making sure that we're undefeated. We have an opportunity to host that game. And then we all know in 2015 what happened in Ram Stadium when we hosted the game. You know, we were, or was it 15 or 16? Whatever it was, we won and we went to the national championship. I'm not sure that would have happened this year, regardless of where we played the Final Four, but it would have been a lot easier for all of us if that game was in Shepherdstown rather than in Colorado. Yeah. So we haven't talked to you since, I think, the last, what, the last Monday Night Mayhem, right? We haven't talked I to you like on the air. On the air, you're right. Like yeah. Us haven't. You were on Rob's show a couple weeks back. What's this? process been like for you as a dad watching Tyson over the last few months as he gets ready for the draft that's going to culminate next week? Yeah, well, first and foremost, it's extraordinary process, you know, for a guy like me who, you know, I'm a football guy. Yeah. I love to talk trash about football. I have a uh, comedic undertone as to me being a superior athlete in general. So to actually have a son that could help me back up all that trash talk is, you know, it's been a it's been an amazing ride for me. The only thing I could say that's um, that makes me nervous is as a parent, you really like I can handle anything like regardless if Tyson is a priority free agent or is the number one pick. I will respond almost the same and inappropriately. Right. But whenever you're a parent, you're really always nervous if your kids are disappointed or upset. So for me, I just hope that, and I believe that Tyson has a good head on his shoulders and expectations. I know he has them. Um, so hopefully they're met. And if they're not, that, you know, it's just not too disappointing because that's the only thing that could make it, you know, not as cool. What's the last couple of weeks been like for him? I mean, we talked to him in studio here like a month or so ago. Uh, but for him, I think he's been making some trips to some teams. Is that what I've seen? Yeah, he actually went to Baltimore and to Washington, D.C. He actually told, you know, he came back from the Washington visit super stoked about the fact that he got to meet with um, with um, um, what's uh, Ron Rivera, right? Ron Rivera. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, Coach Rivera called him out right away, um, got him to his office. He left there right in with the quarterback coach. Um not even 20 minutes after joining the group again, he's off to, um, was it Martin Mayhew? That's yeah, the, GM. the GM. So he got to meet with him. And every time that Tyson is exposed to those guys, to me, it is a benefit that one of them will understand what at least I think is there, yeah. which is an unbelievable super football IQ a person with no strings attached, no problems. And if you just keep, the more he's around them, the more I feel like they'll keep taking a look and he'll be the guy. I said whenever I got to fortunately make a trip to uh, Washington and visit FedEx Field and all the facilities, there were two empty lockers next to Sam Howell with we nobody's know name there. And I said, that one's going to be for set since he was just signed. The other's going to be Tyson Bajan. Yeah, and... Tyson's in the office with Coach Rivera, and Coach Rivera informs him that the NFL has just passed a new rule where the 53-man roster must include three quarterbacks now every week. So that's a huge, great plus for quarterbacks all across the world. That is. Usually you're that stuck on the practice squad. Yeah. Sometimes there's one, yeah. And it's not that you're stuck on the practice squad. It's that you're paid on the practice squad. And then you can be yeah. picked up by any other team. To their no active doubt. roster, so then you're like, well, I'm going to live in week to week. No so, doubt. So I think that a big plus for, you know, the quarterback room in general huge. everywhere. Yeah, so, um, you know, great news. And for him to actually hear it from, from Coach Rivera, I think he was super impressed. So um, I'm a big Dallas fan, so I never even dreamed about 
Weren't they the only, weren't they one one of the only teams that didn't show up to the pro day? They were. I I I, I made a comment that me and Jerry talk all the was time. There was, Cincinnati, right? there was really no need. Uh, you know what? I didn't never heard who the other team was. I believe it was Cincinnati. Yeah, we never I saw somebody you. with the Bengals. Really? So. Well, they're pretty locked in there, quarterback yeah. anyway. So it's not the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, they might need some O line help though. Yeah. Sure. Hey, sure. listen, and I don't know if you know. First and foremost, you have to know that. I am a tri- Tyson Bajan f- like fanatic, right? So yeah. the whole time I'm 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 zeroed in. But I mean, I don't know if it's me, but Joey Fisher looks like he is a shoe in yes. to get drafted. His stock rose at that pro day. I mean, and also too, imagine if you're Joey Fisher's dad, and your son is the fastest and the strongest. Yeah, that is like I'm. Listen. I'm going on top of the mountain. I'm screaming. What now? I mean, if you're an offensive lineman and I tell you that, oh, that guy there happens to be the the fastest and the strongest out of all the dudes, you're like, thank you. I'll take him. So I don't know really how this evaluation goes. I really don't know how it goes for quarterbacks, but I really don't know how it goes for offensive linemen. But I feel like Tice would have a pretty good chance to play on an NFL team if there were 11 quarterbacks on the roster. And that's what it is when it comes to offensive linemen. Yeah. So 11 of those 53-man rosters are dedicated to offensive linemen, which is absolutely, I think the odds are in his favor. Um, he looks like an absolute professional every time I see him. Um, he looks uh, he looks like he gets better looking. His skin gets better. So um, hats off to Joey Fisher. I'm sure it's a, you know. It's 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 a big week coming up for him. Definitely is. Uh, why we have you on? We'll talk about it next week, obviously. But any plans for the draft weekend? Well, so you know, there's on the twentieth the SC feature begins. So Tyson should become a pretty big buzz when it comes. So to tomorrow, we tomorrow we will start to watch all over ESPN the Robert Griffin. Um, the whole thing will last all week. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, my man's stock starts rising. So every year I feel like that the media declares after the season, and you as a fan, you know, it's really tough for me to watch people that aren't as talented as other people judge them so harshly, yeah. um, especially when you know you have a kid, and sooner or later it's going to be your kid possibly. So you got to be careful with the criticism. But every year the media dubs these busts or guys getting drafted so early that shouldn't. So I have a, um, you know, I'm okay with us being a bust. If if you guys want to grab Tyson as the one, two, three, four pick overall and give us that $30 million and it don't work out, we will find some way to live our lives happily from here on after. So I always hear about, you know, Tyson's, you know, he's going to really prove him wrong. He's going to get drafted in that third to seventh round and they're going to, and he's going to end up being the man. And I'm like, yeah, I like that story, too, but I'm totally okay with someone taking a huge chance. I told Tice he should shoot to get drafted so high that you see the fans at the draft, boo. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Kind of like they did with uh, Donovan McNabb and guys like that. I'm totally okay with that. So uh, we don't mind getting booed if you want to draft us super high. All right, well, that will do it for this segment of the Sports Mix. Pulling for the Rams fundraiser next Wednesday night at the Mountaineer Grill and Pub on Mid-Atlantic Parkway. Tyson Bajant, Joey Fisher, Ronnie Brown, and Brian Walker will all be there. We'll be plugging this over the next week. And Travis, thanks for coming in. Coach Cater will be there, too. So all all the Ram fans, right, just newly in the College Football Hall of Fame, come hang out with Monty Cater. We'll pack the Mountaineer next week. It's going to be crazy. A line out the door. Yes, the Mountaineer Pub. Come on, check us out. All right.